Chef Buff Army. Today, we're talking about how to breathe effectively when it comes to weight training. This is probably one of the easiest ways that I'll spot a beginner is in how they breathe. You know, you have guys that hyperventilate, so they breathe too many times. You have other guys that'll just hold their breath in for the whole entire set, you know, for 20 reps. Today, we're gonna talk about the Valsalva Maneuver and how to use it effectively in order to lift more weight. The Valsalva Maneuver is a technique you can use when it comes to breathing. All you're gonna do is when you're about to lift that heavy weight, you're gonna take a deep breath in, hold it, apply a little bit of abdominal pressure, intra-abdominal pressure as you lift that rep and when you complete that rep after going down and up, you're gonna exhale. Then you do the same process again. This will make absolutely no sense until you see some footage. So let's see some footage in action of the Valsalva Maneuver. This is how you do it guys. Big breath in, you're gonna hold it, keep the diaphragm tight, core tight, squat up, then breathe out. So once again, big breath in, brace the core, hold the breath, after you complete the rep, breathe out. Then do the same thing again. Big breath, hold, explode up, and then exhale. This will allow you to lift more weight. Slow motion time, because everything's cooler. Big breath, look like a fucking blowfish pulling that breath in. Squat up, keeping that stomach pressure, and then exhale. That's how you do it. That is seriously all it is. You want to make sure with maximal lifts, I'm not talking about doing bicep curls, I'm talking about lifting some heavy squats, deadlifts, overhead press, you know, bench press, and so forth. You want to incorporate this. It's very simple. Like I said, you want to make sure you don't breathe just from your chest. So you take a big diaphragm breath, you're going to hold it, and then for a lot of guys, it helps them to apply a little bit of external pressure. So you're pushing, you're keeping the core tight. For some guys, the cue uh, that can be given is like you're taking a shit that extra tightness that you give where you're bracing your core. Think for some people as if you're about to be punched in the stomach. So first, you expand your diaphragm, you expand your abdominals out here, the lower region, your stomach right here. Hold the breath and then apply a little bit of pressure to keep it tight. This way you're bracing your entire core. So when you do the movement, your lower back is far stronger and it's protected. This is essentially what a weightlifting belt does. It increases the intra-abdominal pressure. Doing the Valsalva maneuver does the exact same thing. This relates back to total body tension, allowing yourself to apply maximum force. You're increasing the pressure of your abs, which will keep you stronger and more secure on those big lifts. If you have not been doing this currently, try it out. You'll notice any of the top Olympic weightlifters or powerlifters will utilize this technique. And if you do this right now, and you do it correctly, you should notice a slight increase in the weights you can lift. Just practice this first. Don't think, oh, you know what? It's squat day. I'm gonna try what Chef Buff said and hold my breath in and end up dunking your head in the squat rack. Practice first with light weight, get it down. Use this technique when it comes to those maximal lifts and big compound movements. If you're doing, you know, 10 repetitions, more bodybuilding style, constant tension, up, down, maybe a dumbbell press to pump up your chest. Not as necessary, you just breathe normally. If, however, you're trying to go for strength and size, lifting a heavy weight, try this out. It is truly these small but very important details that add up over time to turn you from a mediocre weight trainer in a spectacular trainee. Use this technique and watch as your weights increase. And that's all I had to say about this topic. Breathing correctly is incredibly important for not only protecting your spine, but as I said before, learning about total body tension and increasing the amount of weight you lift. Thank you, as always, for watching my videos. Make sure to like, share with friends, and subscribe. Buff Army, till next time, Valsalva Maneuver.